I'm Constantine Georges, and I'm the founder and uh, co-owner of Dat Dog in New Orleans. Well, Dat Dog originated uh, uptown by Tulane University on Ferret Street. And I grew up uptown when I was a young uh, student at Tulane. And my partner at the time also grew up uptown. And, we, and that neighborhood is very central to the uptown community. Frenchman Street is the epicenter of the good music that's being played in New Orleans. It's only two blocks long, but I've been coming to Frenchman Street way before I owned that dog to go to Cafe Brazil, where you would meet people like Joni Mitchell or Jimmy Buffett, uh, just hanging out there in the restaurants or the bars. Well, traditionally, the way we incorporated uh, music in uh, Dat Dog is that we opened the windows and the doors to our place because the music on Frenchman was all on the streets and outside. Sadly, though, when COVID hit, all of that dried up. The bars were not allowed to open like they used to. The clubs were not allowed to open. But we were allowed to open because we were a restaurant. And having a nice balcony, we decided to put a baby grand piano on the balcony, very distant from the people, but we kept the music alive. And that was the idea, is to keep the music alive throughout the pandemic. We are a combination of European meets New Orleans. We have sausages that came from Europe, Polish kielbasa, Slovenian sausage, Irish Guinness sausages, and then we teamed up with people like the Vokrasons to do their hot sausage, or alligator sausage, or the crawfish sausage, or the duck sausage. Unfortunately, after Katrina, our facility was ruined, and we haven't had a chance to go back into full-scale production to provide our products on the retail level. What we did do was maintain our presence in the food vending concessions market at our local festival. These festivals have allowed us to keep our brand out there, as well as our participation in sales to local restaurants that have sold us for many years, including Dookie Chase Restaurant, who has bought our product for over 75 years. Miss Chase was the customer of my grandfather, and that loyalty has meant the world to us. But we make sure that now, as we move into this next generation, that we will soon be able to make our products available, not only back into the grocery stores, but we're also thankful to outlets like Dat Dog, who brought us in knowing that we wanted to get our brand back out into the marketplace, which allowed us to have our product presented as they grew, it allows us to grow. And I'm so thankful to the Georges family for that opportunity. Now I want you to know something about this room that I'm, I'm giving the interview in. This is our crew of Chewbacca's uh, room. What does that mean? Well, you see the drunken Wookiee behind me, okay? But I had this idea years ago that we would try to do at Dat Dog what Antoine's did for the crew of Rex or the crew of Proteus. I said, we should have a room dedicated to those great carnival organizations that march along Frenchman Street. For next year's Mardi Gras, I gotta say, I'm really excited to have the people come all back to town. You know, during this time during COVID, it's been a little weird not having all the people from all over the world, but I'm really looking forward to getting all the tourists back into the city.